Welcome back to Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. Well, in 1683, Christendom stood on the wrong end of the proverbial sword of Islam, so to speak. And this was not merely in the 17th century. Actually, for a thousand years, Islam had, with some interruptions from time to time, grown like a deadly disease through the Middle East, North Africa, and in the previous 200 years into Eastern Europe. Having taken down the once mighty Eastern Roman Empire in 1453, the Ottoman Turks were pushing further into Europe, raping and murdering as they went, and reaching the gates of Vienna by the 16th century. If they succeeded in penetrating Western Europe, Christendom itself would fall to the Arabs. Well, in 1683, Vienna stood on the brink of destruction as a massive Ottoman force numbering as high as 200,000 loomed over the city, facing down a far inferior Christian force defending it. The Ottomans were the latest Muslim foe to force the Christians on their heels, and Christendom, having been weakened by its own series of internal religious conflicts in the previous century and a half, was down to its last breath, so it seemed, until it wasn't. Unbeknownst to the Ottomans, a mighty force of Polish knights was charging down from the north, led by an old but mighty Christian king, Jan Sobieski. Now, Sobieski was a pious Christian and a defender of the faith, he was enraged at the incessant push into Western Europe, and he had gathered a force of 20,000 elite Polish fighters to give assistance to the Holy Roman forces desperately trying to defend their capital city. Now, among these 20,000 were an elite force of knights armed with beautiful silver plate armor and emblazoned with wings on their backs as if they were themselves an elite angelic fighting force. They were the winged hussars. Old Sobieski descended with his mighty cavalry on September 11th, 1683 to attack and penetrate the side of the massive Ottoman army. Though the Hussars were vastly outnumbered by the Ottomans, the Hussars, christened by some as the Angels of Death, were essentially an elite strike force that would hit their enemy so hard that even a larger force like the Ottomans could not match their might. Now, understanding the vitality of this battle for his people and for his faith, Sobieski charged, followed by his faithful hussars, in full gallop to slash the flank of the Turks. The Turks stood no chance and they were obliterated. There was no stopping Sobieski and the hussars, and the Turks suffered massive casualties that day. Sobieski said in a letter following the battle, quote, We came, we saw, God conquered. Though the city of Vienna was badly destroyed in this battle, the remaining Christian survivors celebrated the great victory that day. And of course, that day, September 11th, 1683, was the day the furious tide of Islam was turned for good. A mere 250 years later, the Ottoman Empire lay dead on the ash heap of history, conquered by the British Empire at the end of World War I. Thanks so much for joining me once again for a moment in history.